Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on our channel. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. And today, we're discussing a rather rare IWC Ingenieur, launched in 2007 and only built through 2008. This is the reference 323401, 44mm in stainless steel with a ceramic bezel. It is a handsome Gerald Genta descended design that is 132 millimeters thick and from lug to lug a beefy 53.6 millimeters. And truly, it is descended from the reference 1832 Jumbo Ingenieur of 1976. So while IWC has inexplicably reverted to the ingenieur design of the 50s rather than that of Genta in recent years, this watch carries on the design vision of the man himself. So the timepiece is substantial. It is also comfortable, and it wears surprisingly well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. As you can see, the way the lugs are shaped, they sort of arc around the wrist and the strap juts straight down. So there's no sense that the strap is trying to fight the curve of your wrist. It's big though, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a wrist smaller than mine. My wrist is 16 centimeters circumference. You get a good sense of the watch fitting, but probably being near the limit of viability. It is, however, thinner than I expected. Taking a quick look, the strap is an embossed leather pattern on the top, calf skin, very thick, bolstered for volume. And then you can see on the underside, there is a rubber underlay to separate the leather from the oils, heat, sweat, moisture of the wrist. Stainless steel watch, stainless steel buckle, a nice combination of satin and polish handsomely rendered. And the same is true with the case. You can see that there is a transitional bevel on the edge of the lugs. There's also a little bit of a bevel on the overrider at the tip of the lug hoods. The case is principally in satin finish. You can see that on the case tops as well as the profile. And then there is that stepped and very directly genta descended bezel in ceramic. So the bezel being very scratch resistant, it's going to be the heat shield that blocks the rest of the watch from taking the hits. The crown is a screw down. You can see it has the IWC logo as well as motto Probus Scafusia good solid watches made in Schaffhausen. So the watch is 120 meters water resistant. Put it on a water resistant band and IWC does offer them. You can absolutely take it swimming. There is a repeating ingenieur eye motif on the dial, and this, again, goes back to the 1980s and 70s with the ingenieur. You have a multi-layer dial with a number of fascinating accoutrements. Let's start with the center and work our way out. You can see the hands are baton style and of high polish for contrast. We've got a counterweighted seconds hand with a lacquered red bob at the end. We have overriders for the sweeps from roughly 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So we have these sort of plaques mounting the Arabic numerals 60 and 30 in red lacquer. And then we have all applied indices, which are steel and rhodium plated. And then outboard, you can see that there are hash marks in red and then a minutes and seconds track outboard of that stepped up in white. It's a rather involved but handsome dial. Flip it all over and you can see IWC went all out here. While not every ingenieur carried a manufacturer movement during this period, this model did. This is the reference 8111. Bidirectional automatic winding, you can see it uses the Paul wheel and Paul system invented by Albert Peloton in the late 1940s. This is a famously durable and efficient bi-directional Paul-based winding system invented by Albert Peloton at IWC. It's been widely copied and it's been retained in service by IWC precisely because it works so well. It energizes a 44-hour power reserve and the watch does have hacking seconds and a quick set date. Rolling over, you can see that the balance beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. And there is handsome, albeit mechanically applied finish, including polished screws, satinated wheels, engine turning on the base plate. There is circular Cote de Genève on the bridges as well as on the rotor. All told, an accomplished and impressive movement that is adjusted in five positions, which is a feather in its cap, as five position adjustment tends to be something that's reserved for high horology watches as well as chronometers. And it is, to its credit, a good looking caliber. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the IWC Ingenieur by Night.